Ja, ja. Which is your name? Yeah. Yeah, I just had to. Um, I just had to take a break pretty quick. But my eyes are burning. Um. Every day I catch fish to feed my family. Wait, oh right, um, I forgot to, um, I go out to a fishing spot not too far from my house. I take my rod, my boat, my bait, my bucket, and I always come home to my lovely wife and children with uh, fresh feet, with fresh fish for us to eat. My wife makes wonderful char grilled fish. My kids love my wife's fish and chips. And don't even get me started on her fish soup. So of course. I set out. So of course I set out today for my daily fishing trip. But the road to my usual fishing spot was blocked off. Something about environmental damage, I think. A real shame, honestly. I think she, uh, that fishing spot is where I met my wife. So I decided to try my luck at a nearby lake. Uh, they couldn't have put the sprite a little bit more to the left. Like, did they really have to place it there? It, uh, that does not even look intentional. Like, it's... Like, the sprite is blocking both the name and the text below. Like, come on. Like, I don't think that was supposed to be intentional. Okay. Let's do this just like I did at my old fishing spot. When I see a fish, I gotta quickly press A to lure it in. That's bugged, yeah. Afterwards, mine was normal, really. Afterwards, I'll use the left and right buttons to move the colored bar behind it. If I keep it behind there long enough, I should be able to catch it. If I can't do that though, I'll lose the fish and have to catch another. So what was it? Wait. Wait, what was I supposed to do again? I already forgot. Wait, what was it? What was this? Oh, I see, I see. It kind of, it sucks though. the tutorial I literally read it and then it just like completely left my mind okay I don't know how but I did it the fish has to go in the bar, hold A and D to go left or right. Oh! Oh, I'm stupid. I was literally just like spamming A and D. I don't know how I caught this thing. Hi there, friend. You don't have to spam, yeah. What? I said hi. Aren't you going to say hi back? Fish don't talk. But I'm talking, aren't I? If I haven't gone mad, yes. You look pretty sane to me, friend. Oh, wonderful. Talking fish thinks I'm sane. I'm here to tell you something important. 
some silly little factory up the road has started dumping nuclear waste here. So, the other fish have been acting quite strange lately. Strange? Because they talk like you? Don't be silly, I'm a normal fish. Right. That's all I have to say. I thought you could use a warning. Happy fishing, friend! Now, if you just return me to the lake... I don't think so, I need fish to feed my... Nope! Do not jump from my hands right over the edge of my boat. And just like that, I'm back to square one. Hopefully I'll get another catch soon. Okay, okay, okay hold on. At least now I know how it works. That's how it goes. Fuck. Can I... Okay, so I... I kinda get it, but the controls of the... Okay. Oh, I got a boo. Fantastic. I didn't think the boot would also have a waifu version. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get caught on your hook. Uh... I know you must have been trying to catch a fish. I would really love if the... I like have it be large that way it must have been trying to catch a fish no that makes it worse never mind go back um game oh no nope not allowed Must have been trying to catch a fish. The boots in this lake talk too? I think there's a bit more going on. I... I suppose I do talk. Sorry if I startled you. I can barely read this. This won't do at all. I'm not going to feed my family a talking boot. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to interrupt your fishing. What should I do with her? Throw her back in the lake. Reprimanded her for not being a fish. Apologize for catching her. Honestly, don't know why that is happening aside from the PC dying from streaming for weeks in a row. Yeah. I think it's the fact that I lowered the resolution, but like, the images might not... Um... I think when I if I lower the resolution, the like the screen gets sl smaller, but the images remain in the same spot. Reprimand, reprimand her for not being a fish. Even so, you've wasted valuable time I could use to catch an, to catch actual fish. Should really stay clear of fishing hooks in the future. You're right. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to get caught, but I'll be more careful in the future. Why don't you make the, the, the resolution higher? It's because... Ugh, I might if it gets really bad, but like... The stream does not do well with, like, full screen games. What were you even doing? What were you even doing that you got caught on my hook? Oh, I was, uh... Look... Uh, doing long forgotten boot things. Like, just sitting at the bottom of the lake. 
and waiting for something to happen. Not much happens in the life of a boo. And the fish in the lake don't talk to me. Not even Tuna, and Tuna will talk to anyone. You can also read from Log. You are right, yes. Speaking of, it does get kind of lonely. So yeah, nothing important. That sounds really boring. Kind of is. Oh my god, I can't. No, that's not... Oh shit. Um... Wait, no, this looks... Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, there we go. That actually looked good. <gasps> yes! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I found the right resolution. Um, I just need to... ...resize the... ...capture. That's fine. Cool. It kind of is. How did you even end up in this lake? I used to belong to a guy named Johnny. He came to this lake for some work. But sort of ended up drowning somehow. I had a twin too, but he's long gone now. Who really knows how to make the atmosphere, Grim? Should probably change the subject. Make small talk about the weather. Make small talk about nuclear properties of this lake. Favorite type of shoes. So, your shoe. Uh, yes. Shoes are pretty cool. Especially Crocs. Crocodiles? No, these things I'm wearing. Oh, those are a fun color. Aw, oh, she's cute. Just make sure to keep track of where they are. This like doesn't need any more junk in it. I seem pretty worried about the state of this lake for a boot. I'm worried. I mean, the nuclear waste is pollution, right? But so am I. That's probably why the fish won't talk to me. I wish I was in a boot in the lake. I didn't choose this life for myself. You didn't have any control over it. I feel bad. Because I have a... Because I have an effect on the health of this lake whether I like it or not. Nobody is going to fish me out and dispose of me because that doesn't directly and immediately benefit anyone on the surface. I'm worthless up here, and a detriment down there. I'm valued nowhere. I mean, at the very least, I probably would have disposed of you responsibly if you hadn't turned into a person. That would be better than hurting the lake. But I still wish that I was wanted from by somebody. I just want to help. They, they. You hope someone will buy her someday. It's unlikely she'll be valued ever. That is sad. Um. You'll be. You'll be valued someday. 
I'm sure somebody will come across you one day and find value in you. Thank you. Part of me knows that you're just being kind, though. I appreciate you trying to cheer me up. How long is this game, by the way? It's been nice talking to you. But I should probably get out of the way, shouldn't I? You've got your family to feed, after all. It's been nice talking. But you're right, I do have a job to do for my family. I hope you catch some tasty fish. If you come to fish here again, I'll make sure to stay clear of your hook. Boot, boot gives you a bittersweet smile, then jumps out of your boat. She turns back into a boot and sinks to the bottom, leaving a trail of bubbles above her. Not that long, don't worry. You have time to finish it? Mm. I don't have any fish to feed my wife and kids. So I cast my line one, once more. You know, you could have at the very least, like, not have gone into... Got it. Ooh, a taco. That is literally just a red taco dachi. You cannot tell me otherwise. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Uh, whoa. Whoa. I'm a human. I knew I was too smart to be just an octopus. Uh. Oh. Another human. Hi, fellow human. Wait. Is this a fucking... Wait... That's just Inaba Red, yeah, but... No, hold on. This music... Is this... A fucking... Is this the opening of some anime? But... Not an arrogant... No, 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 no. Is this... Is this music the opening of some anime? Because I know I've heard something like this. I thought you were going to say that. No, I knew it wasn't an eroge. I see no idea. I feel like it is. I've heard this somewhere. Hi. Wow, you're cute. Oh, thank you. I get that a lot. Do you want a kiss? Excuse me, what? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I love my wife too much for this. Big favor of her? Explain you have a... Jump into the lake. Geronimo! She pulls you back into the boat before you can hit the water. Now, hang on. Where are you going? Am I so hot that you felt that you felt the need to cool down? I assure you it has nothing to do with that. Maybe you figured that I I would hate to see you. Maybe you figured that I would hate to see you go, but love watching you leave? Absolutely not. So, what cute reason did you have for- I'm taken. Oh, you want me to fight your love? What? No. I'm willing to play along, wink. So, what brings a handsome angler such as yourself to this lake? I'm catching dinner. For my wife and children. Who you will not steal me from. Wow. You're catching dinner. You must think I look like a snack. Damn, this is a, this octopus is way too fucking smart. I don't like calamari. Wow, you're not just a pretty face. You're stupid too. Don't worry. 
I like being the smart one in the relationship. Hey. How am I stupid? Calamari is squid. You should have said that you didn't like takoyaki. You didn't like takoyaki or... Stapodi. What, what is... What is... What is that? Oh my god, the game is way too loud in my ears. <laughs> like, this music is already throwing me off because I can't think of what anime this is from. Nerd. But you didn't, which is just so cute. Anyway, I've asked you a question. Your turn. Ask me one. Uh, ask what an octopus is doing in the lake. Ask why she isn't listening to you. It's to say, uh, why is she, isn't she listening to you? Why don't you listen when I say I have a wife and kids and I'm not interested in changing my relationship? I'm listening. I just don't care. And <laughs> why do you keep hitting on me? Just because I heard you doesn't mean I can be stopped. Oh lord. It reminds me of that scene from Bad Trip. Man, it's been so long since a man looked at me in my eyes. You are beautiful. Thank you. You gotta go to zone four. Can we please. kiss? No. No. <laughs> it's been so long since I kissed a man. What's your name, officer? Can I get your number? No, I'm married. So? You a police? Y'all don't care about shit like that? You're so silly asking about uh, asking about listening uh, and not about my advances first. Wait, what? Which just makes you cuter. No. Look, I can't keep telling you no. Because you want to say yes. <laughs> uh, she's best girl already. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. She's best girl. No, because I'm getting very tired of this. You already have zero chances with me. <laughs> but if you're not uh, going to properly acknowledge the things I say, then you're solely mistaken. That I'll ever want to be with you. I have a beautiful wife that makes me feel valued. She listens to what I have to say, and she cares about what I do and do not want. Wow, she sounds boring. What you're looking? For, oh wait, what you're looking for in a relationship clearly is not what I want. So please, can you just drop this already? Oh, but I've just turned into a human body, and you're the first human I've been able to talk to. How could I not have feelings for you? Today, I don't know. It's okay to have feelings, but keep them to herself. Tell them that octopus don't have feet. No, that's just a lie. Um. Today it's okay to have feelings, but keep them to herself. Look, it's okay to have feelings. I never said that was wrong. But you have to understand that I have my own emotions about this. It's making me very uncomfortable. You can have your feelings, but you can also keep them to yourself. Especially once you are told that they clash with mine. I suppose, I think, maybe I'm not suited to be a human after all. I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone now. Bye. Flops out of the boat looking rather saddened. Turns back into an octopus and swims out of sight. Why, wait, why is there an... Are octopus usually found in lakes? I don't think so. Aren't they usually like sea creatures? I don't have any fish to feed my wife and kids, so I cast my land once more. There we go. Oh, anglerfish. Oh my god, what is this one gonna look like? Oh. I mean, I love her color. Oh, a human. Ew. Rude. You're all gross and fleshy. I thought anglerfish were count carnivores. 
I wasn't aware that carnivore meant no standards. Oh, damn. <sighs> so, you come here often? No, I'm considering the fact that you fish... That all of you fish so far talk. I don't think I'll be back here again. Anyway, clearly you're a dud, so... If you'll just let me push you out of the boat... Wait! I'm here in your boat for a reason. Because you were stupid enough to bite my hook? No. I bit into that hook on purpose. Trust me, I know a thing or two about lures. So, why are you here? I... Sort of wanted to talk to a human. You seem interesting. Even if you're yucky and hairy. Does this fish want to talk to me or not? You her back into the lake. Ask her what she would like to talk about. That I only talk she apologizes for being rude. Uh, you know, you her back into the lake. And he's keeping her around, keeping around rude fish. Let, her, let alone one that can't even be eaten. I mean, she can be eaten, technically. Yeah, no. But wait! You rock the boat a little and she tumbles off to the side. She turns back into the lake and falls back in, and turns back into a fish. I didn't think the game would actually let me. Oh my god. She probably swims to a lower... swims to a lower depth. Time to catch another fish. Hopefully the next one won't turn into a person. It will. I'll tell you that much. Or... Excuse me? How the fuck did you find an orca in a lake? Holy crap. Um... She doesn't even... She, just... No icon? No? Alright. My life flashes before my eyes. An entire orca- Oh wait, it's, it's me thinking it in my head. An entire orca was about to land on my boat. I thought my boat was done for. The good thing the orca turned into a girl just before landing in the boat. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so sorry. I know I'm very tall. It's really embarrassing. Tall? <laughs> I'm not sure if orcas are even edible, and even if they are, this isn't an orca anymore, it's a person. Can you please stop staring? Get her out of your boat, apologize for staring, why not how tall she is? Get her out of your boat. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm that unsightly, aren't I? Well, no, it's just... I'll leave you be. Orca climbs out of the boat and turns back into an orca in the water. Transformation uh, displaces a lot of water. <laughs> Up the throat. <coughs> this one, I'm gonna. Oh my god, no, I actually. I actually can't. Okay, no, let me go and make a coffee. This one, I'm, oh my god.
God, my throat actually hurts. <laughs> you also need to drink water, please? Yeah, I'm... I'm... Why? Oh my god. Actually, it's pretty bad. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. Really fucked me up. <sighs> okay, I think I can keep going. The transformation displaces a lot of water, almost establish this destabilizing the boat. The water settles down after a bit. Time to catch another fish. Why is there an orca in a lake? And how did he manage to fish it up? How strong is this guy? Hopefully the next one will turn into a person, I can guarantee you it will. Jellyfish. Oh hi. Who dares disturb me? Uh, me? 
Oh, a lowly human. You seem fairly... You seem fairly maidenless. Well, actually, I'm married, so... It was very rude of you to fish me up like that. But I am a kind jellyfish who is of royal blood, so I will forgive you. I don't need your forgiveness. I just need food. Also grace you with my presence for a little longer since I'm so generous. I keep forgetting spacebar doesn't actually advance the text. Tell her she's been rude, humor her. Throw this royal pain in the ass back into the water. Yeah. I don't like your tone very much. And I don't think jellyfish are edible. Excuse me. So if you wouldn't mind, I think I'll just escort your highness back to where you came from. Wait! I push her right out of my boat and she falls into the water while kicking and yelling insults. The sort of insults that aren't very beckoning of royal. <coughs> Becoming of royal. Time to catch another fish. Hopefully the next one won't be a spoiled, prin spoiled princess, that's funny. Oh. Blobfish. Damn. What the hell is this one gonna look like? Why is a blobfish one of the cutest ones? I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Um, ugh. does she feel bad because she turned into a human, or is it something else? Either way, I don't think blobfish belong in lakes. Neither did orcas <laughs> or anglerfish or octopus. They're from the coast of Australia, New Zealand. Or maybe that one hell land. All oh, right, Tasmania. Yikes. What should I do with her? It's not like I can feed my family a sick fish. Or back in the lake, you don't know how to help her. Ask what's wrong. Um, Miss Blobfish, are you okay? You look a bit off. Uh, a human. Are you okay? The pressure up here is really low. Not that it was much better at the bottom of the shallow lake. I feel ill. That's right, bloodfish usually live under high pressures, don't they? There is no pressure <laughs> on the surface. I don't know how any other species put up with this lack of pressure. Say, don't you blobfish also start looking different when the pressure changes? Wait, they do? Do we? He peers over the edge of the boat to see her reflection in the water. I'm hideous! I'm all pink and floppy! Why do my lips look like that? Oh dear. I doubly hate this stupid low pressure. I feel ill and look like death. Hey, you don't look so bad as a person. What do you mean? I'm pink. Say so pink is a nice color and suits her. Say so that she has a nice personality. Offer to take her to a vet or something. Um, say that. Pink is a nice color and suits her. Pink's a nice color. I think it looks good on you. Are you pitying me? No. I just like the color pink. I, well, depends, honestly. Depends on how it's used. 
fine. Hmm. Look, I can see you're not happy right now. I get why. You're certainly not in a good situation. Uh, I'm going to be stuck like this forever. As a human or floppy thing? A floppy thing. Okay, okay, sorry. At least I look a little less pudgy and squishy as a human. It still sucks. I'm so sorry that this has happened to you. How did you end up in the lake anyway? Uh, I don't remember. I caught on something back in the ocean and I was getting pulled up. I blacked out. I blacked out. I woke up here. Oh, I see. I suppose I woke up looking hideous like this too. Just keep apologizing for a situation. Suggest uh, putting others down to make yourself feel better. That's not... No. Suggest that she takes control of the parts of her look that she actually has a say in? Yeah. I guess there isn't much that can be done about some parts of your looks. It's best not to get caught up on some, uh, on the things that you can't change, don't you think? Take charge of, uh, take charge of the parts of your appearance that you, that you can control. Accessor- Accessorize a bit. Look, I know I should probably be staying out of your business, since I don't know you at all. But if you're here on my boat, clearly distressed, but you're here on my boat, clearly distressed, I don't know how to help. But I can't just sit here and watch you feel bad about yourself, you know? That would be rude of me. I mean, look, I guess I've put you in an awkward position here. I guess the only person who can really do anything about this is me. So... I do have a question. Yes? You humans change your appearance all the time, don't you? Different clothes, different hair, etc. We can do that. You can just go and change those things, right? Yes. It's really simple, actually. So... Let's just say, I didn't want pink hair anymore. You finish uh, catching your fish and take blobfish back, to land, blobfish back to land with you. You drop your fish off at home and let your wife know when you'll be, uh, be home by. You and blobfish go straight to a hair salon. She chooses to dye her hair black. You swing past the clothes store and blobfish Picks out some clothes, all in black. Not the NTR ending? Did I get a- oh my god. You take her back home with you, and let your- uh, and your wife has just finished making dinner. Buffus joins you in your meal. During it, she asks your wife what the colors on her face are, and learns what makeup is. She seems fascinated by the possibilities and wants to try it for herself. Your wife lends Blobfish some makeup and she uses it to create a rather amateurish look. Blobfish is proud of it though, and you couldn't be happier for her. Is this an NTR ending? Um. You want to quit the title screen and you don't set progress? No. Wait, can I... Is this an ending? So is there no... I'm nah, just kidding. Oh. Um... Is this an ending? So do I have to return to the title screen? Because I literally can't do anything else. And I didn't save anything, so I have to redo it all. Yeah, those are endings. So depending on what you say to each fish... Was that the literal last fish I had? I could have gotten. Let's skip the tutorial, including tuna. Yes. Okay, hold on.
fucking cunt. Okay. Yes, uh, there uh, weren't any more fishes. Wow. And I just got the blob fish. Uh. Um. Poker. I poke her a few times. Hey you. Hello. Takes a few pokes to get her to respond. Wakey wakey. Ugh. Uh, uh, huh? Huh? A human? What's up with you? The pressure's too low. That's right, bloodfish usually live under high pressures, don't they? Uh, I don't know if any other species that can- I don't know how other species can put up with this lack of pressure. Say, don't you bloodfish also start looking different when the pressure changes? Do we? That's a nice personality. Hey, at least you've got a great personality. I bet you have a ton of friends. You don't even know me. I've been talking for like two minutes tops. Look, I can see you're not happy right now. Yeah, why you... Suppose I woke up looking hideous like this. So just putting others down to make herself feel better, I guess. Hey, I mean... To make others feel bad about their own looks, then your appearance will matter less to them. I'm ugly, not rude. Who do you take me for? Uh, sorry. Look, I know I should probably be staying out of your business, because I don't know you at all. But you're here in my boat, clearly distressed. I don't know how to help. But I can't just sit here and watch you feel bad about yourself, you know? That'd be rude of me. I mean... Look, I guess... Be in an awkward position here. So you can... Oh, wait, wait. So I'm going to just go back into the lake and think about this on my own. Oh, so... Okay, so only the... Um, sorry for the disturbance. Wait, so is it only the last fish that gives you an ending? It's okay. I hope I helped some way. Even if it feels a little. Seem to the bottom of my site. I don't have any fish to feed my wife and the kids, so I can... Like, cast my line once more. Wait, my throat. Jellyfish. Right, the uh, Ohima Sama one. Who dares disturb me? Uh, me? Oh, a lowly human. You seem fairly maidenless. Well, it's very rude of you to fish me up like that. But I'm a kind jellyfish who is of royal blood, so I will forgive you. I don't need your forgiveness. I need food. I will also grace you with my presence for a little longer since I am so generous. Though she's being rude. Hey, could you st please stop acting like you're above me or something? That's not very nice of you. Huh? Then where do you get off talking to royalty like that? Where do you get off talking to anybody like that? Well, if you were of the status or class that I am, you would understand. Sure. I'm going to assume that you mean that for the sake of civility. So, what brings a lowly human such as yourself to my lake? Your lake? Who else's lake would this be? Uh, I've heard the factory up the road that has certainly claimed this lake as a dumping ground. Anyway, I'm here to catch dinner for my wife and kids. And so you caught me? If I had any control over what I caught on my hook, I would have caught an actual fish, not some jellyfish. I'm not some jellyfish. I am a jellyfish of high social... Please spare me the lecture. Fine. Well, I wish you luck in catching something for your family. 
but I still think that you should be more careful about what you get on your hook. Tell her that that is not fishing works. Apologize, apologize, but tell her that she should watch where she's going in the future. Tell her that is not fishing works. I'm sorry, but that just isn't how fishing works. Well, if you know so much about fishing, why don't you explain it to me? Why don't you explain to me why it doesn't work that way? <sighs> I cast a hook with my bait into the water, right? And the idea is that a fish will be lured in by the bait and bite the hook. And if something is in the water, isn't attracted by the bait, then it should watch where it's swimming. Does she say Hime every time she speaks? Sounds like it. Are you calling me careless? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Are you calling me careless? Yes. What else would you be? I, uh... I really feel like I'm not receiving the appropriate level of respect from you. You seem so... Ignorant to my royal status and the respect that should that should afford me Everyone regardless of class or upbringing should at least know the baseline manners needed to for interacting with royalty Look lady. I literally just came here to fish up some dinner for my family I didn't come here expecting to talk with some self-proclaimed royalty and not to get political or anything, but that they do not like jellyfish, that they don't support power structures underpinned by concept like birthing. Say that even though you're not royalty, you deserve respect too. Sure. Those who are not royalty still deserve a bit of respect. That's not political. Well, kind of is. Actually, never mind. You've come into my boat. You've been referring to me like some small, sniveling, low thing. But I'm not treated with basic decency from the from the get-go. That will not be respect, respectful in return. Well, you've made your point, I suppose. I think it's best that I leave. You and I clearly cannot get along. A shame, really. Goodbye. Farewell. Jellyfish gracefully slips over the edge of the boat and turns back into her jellyfish form. She dejectedly swims away. You don't have any fish to feed your wife and kids, so you... Yeah, cash your line once more. Orca, octopus, alright. Ooh, best girl! that you have wife and kids. Look, I appreciate that you think I'm cute, but I have a wife. Oh, easy. Make up with her. And kids. You can just send them to boarding school. <laughs> Best girl, I'm telling you. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> like, she doesn't even have competition. <laughs> I'll have you know that I love my family very much, and I will not be breaking up with anyone or sending anybody away. Playing hard to get, I see. I'm willing to play along, wink. So, what brings a handsome angler such yourself to this lake? Best girl is boot, sorry, you know what? She's a close second. Uh, what does that say? I think I skipped something. I'm catching dinner with my wife and children. Who you will not steal me from. I mean, to be fair, boot is more of like a mood. A mood. Like, like, she is, like, she's just like me for real, for real, but... Like, octopus is octopus, like, come on now. She's even got the tentacles, so she's perfect for the job, you know? Wow, if you're catching dinner, you must think I look like a snack. I don't like calamari. 
I mean true, exactly, see? I can skip right because I've already done. Uh, your turn. Ask me. Ask me one. Um. Hey. Ask your question. Your turn. Yeah. Um. What is an octopus doing in a lake? Yeah, actually, yeah, but that that is a good <laughs> that is a good question. Why is there an octopus in the lake? What is an octopus doing in a lake? Oh, thirsty for details, are we? You literally just told me to ask you a question. I haven't always lived in this lake. I'm actually from up the road. What would the factory up the road need with an octopus? Not the factory, the aquarium. There's an aquarium up there too? I didn't even know. Should probably take the kids there sometime. I got so sick of being trapped as an exhibit. I mean, I'm clearly smart enough to be a human, so it was obviously a mistake that I was an octopus. So, I used my brains and escaped. However, when I got out, I was still stuck in, uh, in an octopus body. I crawled all the way down the road, unsure of what to do. So, when I came across this lake, I was like, screw it. Maybe I just need a change of scenery. And that's how I ended up here. Wow, you're such a great listener. This must be a sign that we're compatible. No. Look, I can't keep telling you no. Because you want to say yes? Yes, girl, I'm telling you. No, because I'm getting very tired of this. You already have zero chance with me. If you're not going to properly acknowledge the things I say, then you're solely mistaken that I'd ever want to be with you. I have a beautiful wife that makes me feel valued. I already read this. Okay, now things for you. Uh... Octopus don't have feelings. <laughs> Octopus do octopuses don't have feelings. What? Sort of like how you probably think I don't have feelings. Am I an object to you? Just a thing to be chased after? I don't care about my feelings, so why should I care about yours? It doesn't feel nice to have your feelings ignored, does it? I think. Maybe I'm not suited to be human after all. I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone now. I mean, to be fair, humans don't care about other humans' feelings, so like that, no, that, that's accurate. Bye. Aw, now I feel bad. Turn back into an octopus and swim out of sight. I don't have any fish to feed my wife and kids, so I might as well, yeah. Oh, there's Boo. Oh. Oops. No. Damn it. Let's get. There we go. We're back into the lake. Apologize for catching her. Uh, apologize for catching her. It's okay, these things happen. Sorry for catching you. Oh no, it's okay. Really? I mean... It wasn't like I was doing anything of importance down there anyway. What were you doing when I caught you? Oh, I was, uh... Doing long forgotten boot things. Like... Just sitting there at the bottom of the lake. And waiting for something to happen. Not much happens in the life of a boot. And the fish in the lake don't talk to me. Not even Tuna. And Tuna will talk to anyone. It does get kind of lonely. So yeah, nothing important. That sounds really boring. Kind of is. How did you end up in this lake? I used to belong to a guy named Johnny. I... Uh, Before I change the subject, um... Wait. 
Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Uh, make small talk about your favorite type of shoe. Is that like, uh, I picked that last time. And is this uh, like a like a negative thing? Like a mi like it's like a minus symbol, right? On the others that I've seen, there was like hearts here. So is this like what you shouldn't talk about? Hmm. Make small talk about the nuclear properties of the lake. So how's the nuclear waste treating this lake? You know about that? Yes, it's negative. Mm, okay. It tastes kind of fizzy. This will be making the fish go a little funny. It's not very nice, honestly. I'm not a fan of it since it's probably really bad for the lake. And everything in it, of course. You seem pretty worried about the state of this lake for a boot. I am worried. I mean, the nuclear waste is pollution, right? But so am I. That's probably why the fish don't talk to me. I wish I was in a boot in the lake. I didn't choose this life for myself. You didn't have any control over it. Why well, feel bad? Because I have an effect on the health of this lake, whether I like it or not. Nobody is going to fish me out of is going to fish me out and dispose of me because that doesn't directly and immediately benefit anyone on the surface. I'm worthless up here and a detriment down there. I'm valued nowhere. I mean, at the very least, I probably would have disposed of you reasonably if you hadn't turned into a person. That would be better than hurting the lake. But I still wish that I was wanted by somebody. So did I pick both of the negative options? Okay, you know what? Sure, let's go with the most negative thing here. The shame that you're probably just going to keep living this way. Yeah... Sometimes I dream of things changing. But I know it's just a fantasy. I'm going to be a pollutant forever. No intentions or hopes are going are going to change that. Maybe I'd feel better about it if I kept myself realistic about it all. It's been nice talking to you. But I should probably get out of your way, shouldn't I? You got your family to feed after all. It's been nice talking. But you're right. I do have a job to do for my family. I hope you can catch some tasty fish. If you come to Fisher again, I'll make sure to stay clear of your hook. You literally can't move your boot. Boot gives you a bittersweet smile and jumps out of your boat. Alright. Orca. Alright. I'll talk to her this time. Holy crap. I also never uh, really looked at her design. Very nice. Oh, I flashed before my eyes. Entire orca was about to land on my boat. I think they used the wrong text box. Because this is supposed to be like me thinking, but like it has... But I think like earlier when I thought about like when when the main character was thinking it was like it w it didn't have the name name tag and uh, and the long shot thingy. The entire orca was about to land on my boat. I thought my boat was done for. It's a good thing the orca turned into a girl just before landing on the in the boat. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm so sorry. You know I'm very tall. It's really embarrassing. Not sure if orcas are even edible, and even if they are, this isn't an orc anymore, it's a person. Can you please stop staring? Wait. Get- oh, okay, get her out of the boat, it just means 
Okay, so the arrows are the next option. Um... Um... Oh, wait, not how tall she is. Oh, you're super tall. I know. Not exactly my favorite feature. Huh? Why? There's no problem with being tall. But compared to every other creature in this lake, I'm huge. Yeah, yeah, you are. I can see. A monstrosity. A colossal horror. What's an orc like you doing in the lake anyway? I used to live in the ocean. Some humans caught me and moved me to this lake. I don't... I don't think you'd even be able to swim in the lake. Like... Like, orca... Like, orcas... Like, they're, they're the size of whales. Like, they're massive. Like, orcas are whales, technically. Like, they're, they're huge, right? They're, they're not gonna fit in a lake. Like, technically, it should be the size of the lake. Why on earth would anybody do that? That seems so pointless, expensive, and... Well, a touch... A touch cruel, really. I don't think she is able to live in a lake. Well, okay, no. So, fun fact, right? Um, whales and, and orcas, by extension. Uh, whales aren't... Uh, they actually cannot breathe underwater, fun fact. They, the reason why whales tend to go to the surface is actually because they need air. It's just that they can't live on the surface because they don't have legs. Uh, and also, their food source is underwater. So yeah, no, she'd be able to live in the lake. Uh... Well, I guess technically she'd, she'd be able to survive for a little bit. Um... But she wouldn't be able to... Uh, like, eat, like the plankton. From what I overheard them saying... The health of this lake was poor for some reason. And they thought the best solution was to... Introduce new species. Jellyfish, anglerfish, orca... That explains too much. None of that makes any sense. Why would anybody just dump random animals in a lake? I mean, I don't get it either. But I'm too big for this place. It's so cramped. If only I were smaller. This environment is not meant for our group. First, say that they should make the lake bigger. Um. That's just not a thing. Um, the environment is not meant for her. Orcas were never meant to live in lakes. It's not your fault for being big. It's the fault of the idiots who put you here in the first place. I mean, I'm not sure what sort of nonsense logic leads people to putting animals like you in a lake. They definitely messed up. Regardless of uh, who's the problem here though, it doesn't change the fact that I'm out of place in this lake. Those guys aren't coming back to pick me up and put me back in the ocean. Or a bigger lake. This is where I am. And for where I am, I am just too large. Must be hard. Yeah. Why well, doesn't behalf of the humans who did this to her? That everyone uh, in the lake just going to have to suffer for it? Damn. Uh, say that her self worth should be a separate matter, though? Yeah. Please do keep in mind that you've been dealt a crappy hand, though. The situation may suck for everyone involved. But how much space you take means... Uh, how much space you take up means very little about who you are as a person. It's just your size. It's not a moral, moral issue. It's not good or bad, some things just are, you know? Why don't I take you to shore so we can 
get you back to the ocean. You don't have to keep living in this lake. I... well... I didn't have a great time in the ocean too. My pod treated me like I just took up space. The ocean is huge, uh, but I was still too much of a space hog there too. No, because orcas... Orcas don't stay in one place, they... Uh... No, that, that literally isn't right. That... That literally can't be the case, because... Orc... Like, whales don't stay in one place, because again, they need to go get air. So they, they're always moving around. But yeah, no, there is no... No, that, that literally doesn't make sense. They're probably not wrong, to be honest. As much as I hate being in this lake, at least the fish don't say anything about me taking up space. It's the lesser of two evils, I see. Do you prefer the lake? Yeah... I know it's a little pathetic to say here, but... I don't know where else I would go. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. I'm glad that I at least got to tell someone about my troubles. I'm glad I could lend a, an ear. Goodbye. She climbs out of the boat, careful not to create too much of a splash. Turns back into an orca and swims aside so I can keep fishing. I don't have any fish to feed my wife and kids, so I cast my line once more. Who did I not fish up yet? The anglerfish? Is that it? Only the anglerfish? Speaking of... Is this the last one? Or am I forgetting someone? Oh, a human. Ew. Rude. You're gross and fleshy. I thought anglerfish were carnivores. I was not aware that carnivore meant no standards. <sighs> so, you come here often? Now, and considering the fact that all of you fish so far talk, I don't think I'll be back here again. Anyway, clearly you're a dud, so if you let me push you out of the boat... Wait! I'm here in your boat for a reason. Because you were stupid enough to bite my hook? No. I've been into the hook on purpose. Trust me, I know a thing or two about lures. So why are you here? I sort of wanted to talk to a human. You seem interesting. Even if you're yucky and hairy. Does this fish want to talk to me or not? Hmm. You're back into the lake now. Ask her what she would like to talk about. But that uh, you'll only talk if she apologizes for being rude. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. You want to talk to me? I expect an apology for your behavior. I really have to. Would you really want to talk to me if I started insulting your insulting your appearance? What is there to insult? Your lifeless eyes. They look pretty life. They they look like they have a lot of life to me. Your patchy fish skin. Your bad breath. Your generally ghastly appearance. I actually love that though. Your... Stop. You made your point. I'm sorry that I said things that were mean, but true. I won't do it again. Thank you. I should warn you though. It's going to be very hard for me to learn the things I want to learn about humans without being insulting. How so? I want to learn more about humans, right? And I was wondering what all of those hairs of yours are for, but... I was saying that I have hair insulting. Well, I called you hairy before and it made you grumpy. Yeah, because you were using the word to imply that I'm icky. But me saying you have hair isn't the same? No. I don't get it. <sighs> Humans are complicated. I don't think that's a very good example of human being complicated, but... We sure can be. Do you think that we fish might have a, anything complicated like that in our world? 
I wouldn't have a clue. But considering the fact that you've turned into something that looks like a human, I suppose it may be possible. Like... Ask if fish do taxes? No, they don't. Ask if fish keep having their food turn into humans. Ask if fish experience relationship drama. Um, ask if fish get... <laughs> uh, well... I can't say that's been an issue for me. Anything in this lake is either a fish, a steak, or a rock. Or a boot, I guess. No humans here. Except for Johnny. Johnny? There's a fuck. There's a factory up the road. Uh, the factory up the road decided he knew too much. Oh. I'm definitely never fishing here again. Anyway, that's not an oddly specific thing for me to ask about. Is it though? I'm here to catch fish for my dinner, but instead I caught you. I'm a fish. Who has turned into a human. Oh. I see your predicament. I did see you throw tuna back in here earlier. Did she turn into a human too? Well, no, she jumped back on her own. Damn, tuna. Oh, damn, tuna would have made a great meal. How would you humans prepare... How would you humans prepare tuna again? Maybe cook it, uh, then shred it and serve it with some veggies? Now that's something I can get behind. Oh yeah. You humans eat fish too, don't you? I guess we do have some common ground, despite our differences. Truth be told, it can get sort of lonely in the lake. There aren't any other anglerfish, and, ev and everyone else in the lake is my prey. It's hard to hear that. It's good to be able to talk to someone for once. Even if we did start off on the wrong foot. I guess I'm just used to my relationships starting as advers ad adversarial. Uh, it would be nice to make some. Uh, yeah, it would be nice to make some, some more friends. I don't really want to make any friends with my food though, so maybe I'll talk to the boot in this lake or something. Yeah, please do. She deserves it. Poor thing has been alone. You know, it would be nice if you could come visit, visit us in the future. That is, if you also enjoy talk- If you also enjoy talking to me. Can I request? That you enjoyed it, but likely won't be back. Promise to visit sometime? <laughs> yeah, fuck it, sure. I'll be sure to visit in the future. You will? Wow, thank you. Well... Probably leave now and let you catch some fish. We all need to eat after all. Goodbye. Good luck. Anglerfish dived over the edge of the boat. He gives you one last look and then swims down the bottom of the lake. You don't have any fish to feed your. F oh, okay. There was one more. Or uh, two more, maybe? What is left? Oh, I peer down into the water. It's late, and all the fish have retreated. Every fish I caught today turned into a woman, and so I had to let them go. I came to the sad realization that I'll be bringing no fish home tonight. I rode back to the shore, pack up my belongings into my ute, and begin to drive home. As my house comes into view, I can't help but feel like I've let my family down. I park my car and enter my home. My children are excited to see me. My beautiful wife greets me with a kiss. Um. I'm not even gonna say anything. Welcome home, darling. Hi, honey. What's wrong, honey? You seem upset. I'm sorry, dear. 
The new fishing spot was a dud. Seems that seems a little sad, but gives me an understanding smile. I can hear my children quite, quietly whining with disappointment. That's okay, love. I was going to make fish and chips for. I was going to make fish and chips tonight, but I can just make salad and chips instead. Then it will be ready soon. Go and rest. You've worked hard today. I haven't caught any fish today, but your family doesn't love you any less. Maybe tomorrow you'll come across a better fishing spot. One with less fish that turn into humans. Um... Oh, look at that. The stream I want to watch starts in four minutes. Alright, um... Yeah, cool. Uh... Yeah, bye. Right. Right, yeah. Got it. Uh, got best girl. Questions to ask. Look, lady, I don't have questions for you. I'd just like to request that you stop hitting on me. Oh, but how could I? You're just so adorable. I, j uh, I can't just not hit on you. I'm going to keep going until your face is as red as my hair. At this rate, I'm going to go red with frustration. Frustration that we haven't made out yet? Best girl, I'm telling you. No. Look, I can't keep telling you no. Because you want to say yes? Best girl, I'm telling you. Uh, so you don't know. How should I know? I'm not an octopus who's turned into a human. And with all due respect, you don't seem to care about my feelings at all. I have told you that I don't want this. How can I help that I have a wife I love? How can I help that I have a wife I love dearly and do not wish to leave her? I think maybe I'm not suited to be human after all. I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone now. Bye. No, that's what's wrong. And then uh, I have to take her to a bed or something. I'm up at boy what? Uh Miss Bloodfish? Oh, yeah, yes. Bear. Bloodfish? Are you okay? Look a bit off. Uh 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 A human? Are you okay? Pressure up here is really low, it's non existent. <laughs> Not that it was, not that it was so much better, but not that it was much better at the bottom of the shallow lake. I feel ill. That's right. Bloodfish usually live in high pressures, don't they? I don't know how any of the other species put up with this lack of pressure. Say, hey, don't you bloodfish also start looking differently when the pressure changes? Do we? Here's of the edge of the boat. See the reflection of what in the water. I'm hideous. I'm all pink and floppy. Why do my lips look like that? Oh dear. I doubly hate the stupid low pressure. I feel ill and look at that. And look like that. Hey, you don't look so bad as a person. 
What do you mean? I'm pink. I'm gonna take her to a vet or something. Hey, do you need me to like take you to a vet or something? Cause I can do that. Don't be stupid. Or maybe a doctor? I mean, you've turned into a person. I don't even know what that is. Besides, nobody can do anything about this. There's no way to reverse this level of damage. Look, I can see you're not happy right now. I get why you're certainly not in a good situation. You're going to be stuck like this forever. As a human or floppy thing? A floppy thing. Okay, okay, sorry. At least I look a little less pudgy and squishy, squishy as a human, but it still sucks. I'm sorry that this happened to you. I joined up in the lake anyway. Uh, I don't remember. Wait. Oh my god. Why the fuck was the window capture not capturing? Just keep apologizing for our situation. I'm really sorry that this happened to you. It must be tough. It is tough. I've been left for half an hour. I don't need you to tell me that. That it is. Your apologies aren't going to fix anything. Maybe you could turn that frown upside down. Oh my god, shut up. Sorry. Look, I know I should probably be staying out of your business, since I don't know you at all. you are here on my boat, clearly distressed. I don't know how to help. But I can't just sit here and watch you feel bad about yourself, you know? That'd be rude of me. I mean... Look, I guess I put you in an awkward position here. Human. Ew. Rude. Oh, gross and fleshy. Oh, anglerfish were carnivores. I wasn't aware that carnivore meant no standard. <laughs> so, you come here often? No. And considering the fact that you've oh, that all of you fish talk so far, I don't think I'll be back. I don't think I ever will. Uh, clearly you're a dud, so let me push you out of the boat. Wait. I'm here in your boat for a reason. Because you were stupid enough to bite my hook? No. I've been into that hook on purpose. Trust me, I know a thing over two about lures. Why are you here? I sort of wanted to talk to a human. You seem interesting. Yeah, if you're yucky and hairy. Does this fish want to talk to me or not? Ask her what she would like to talk about. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Is it true that humans have, uh, super pathetic teeth? What? Like, they're super short and stubby and dull. And not threatening at all. At least I don't look like a mouthful of mishappened toothpicks. Hey. That's mean. It's fair game. You said I'm gross and fleshy before. I have you know that all this fish in my in this lake fear my impressive teeth. I don't think I care what the small fry in this lake think of you. Why you? <sighs> Look, why don't we call things even and try to be more respectful of one another from now on? Fine. You have a deal. Thank you. I should warn you though, it's going to be very hard for me to learn the things I want to learn about humans without being insulting. Uh, so, I want to learn more about humans, right? 
And I was wondering what all of those hairs of yours are for, but... I was saying that I have hair insulting. Well, I called you hairy before and it made you grumpy. Yeah, because you were using the word to imply I'm icky. Oh. I... accidentally... I... Why'd I go back? But me saying you have air isn't the same? No. I don't get it. Humans are complicated. I don't think that's a very good example of humans being complicated, but we sure can be. Do you think that we fish might have anything complicated like that in our world? I wouldn't have a clue. But considering the fact that you've turned into something that looks like a human, I suppose it may be possible. Like... Ask a fish experience relationship drama. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. There's so much drama in this lake alone. And I don't just hear drama from this lake. I've heard gossip from all over. Any particular good stories to tell? I tried to stay out from of a I try to stay out of most of it, of course. But there is one story I've heard around a lot. A few lakes over I heard that a fisherman would visit regularly. Like they literally went to that lake every day. They fished a salmon out of the lake, got annoyed for some reason, and threw it back in the water. But every single day they kept catching some the same salmon. They eventually just took the salmon home. Word is that they were dating. Which is particularly scandalous considering she was being courted by another salmon that time. At the time. Do you think they are engaged yet? Oh my god, is that is that the main character? The guy in that story? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? This story sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah. I would have no idea. I like to think that they just ate the fish though. No use wasting some good food. Now that's something I can get behind. Oh yeah. You humans eat, t eat fish too, don't you? I guess we do have some common ground despite our differences. Truth be told, it can get sort of lonely in the lake. There aren't any other angler fish, and everyone else is in the lake is my prey. I'm sorry to hear that. Good to be able to talk to someone for once. Even if we did start off on the wrong foot. I guess I'm just used to my relationships starting as adversarial. It would be nice to make some more friends. I don't really want to make any friends with my food though, so maybe I'll talk to the boot in this lake or something. You know, it would be nice if you come to visit in the future. That's if you also enjoy talking to me. It's been fun, but this lake is kind of freaky. And if all the other fish turn into humans like you, I'm not going to have dinner for my wife and kids. Oh, I see. I guess I understand. You must have a lucky wife. Yeah, that Salmon. She's a good woman. Well... I should probably leave now and let you catch some fish. We all need to eat after all. Goodbye. Good luck! Humor her. 
Oh, gee, thanks, Your Highness. How very kind and generous and thoughtful of you. Are you being serious or making a fool of me? Of course I'm being serious, my liege. How could I possibly make a fool of... Um, never cut your name or title. <sighs> you have no idea who I am, do, do you? Not a clue. At least you're being honest. I'm Princess Aurelia Arita Iaquoria Victoria the Fourth. Uh, there's no way I'm, I'm remembering all of that. <laughs> I'll just refer to her as Jellyfish or Your Grace or something like that. So, oh, what brings a lowly human such as yourself to my lake? Your lake? What else this lake would this be? Oh, I heard the factory up the road has certainly claimed this lake as a dumping ground. Anyway, I'm here to catch dinner for my wife and kids. And so you caught me? If I had control over what I caught on my hook, I would have caught an actual fish, not some jellyfish. Not some jellyfish. I'm jelly. I am a jellyfish of high social. Please spare me the lecture. Fine. Uh, we should like on catching something for your family. I still think you should be more careful about what you get in your hook. Apologize, but tell her that she should watch where she is going in the future. Look, I'm sorry. Do you please? But could I please ask? But could I please ask you to watch where you are going in the future? Surely you could have seen my hook and swung around it. I'm willing to accept that some of the fault lies here with me. But you also had a part to play. Well, if you're at least willing to accept that you weren't careful enough, then fine. I did not compromise like this, so consider yourself lucky. I really feel like I'm not receiving the appropriate level of respect from you. You seem so... ignorant to my royal status and the respect that should afford me. Everyone, regardless of class or upbringing, should at least know the baseline manners needed for interacting with royalty. Look, lady, I literally just came here to fish up some dinner for my family. I didn't come here expecting to talk to some self-proclaimed royalty. Not to get political or anything, but... Whatever this is. I'm opposed to power structures that support ideas of inequality. Especially ones stemming from concepts like birthing to power. Or the idea that some people... Or the idea that some people are just born to be of higher status. Aristocratical systems serve the need of the few and of the few and feeds the selfishness of those in power at the expense of the Do you know what those words mean? No. Why does this not surprise me? <sighs> well, you made your point, I suppose. I think it's best that I leave. Oh my fucking god. Oh, well, you made your point, I suppose. I think it's best that I leave. And you cl you and I clearly can't get along. A shame, really. Goodbye. Farewell. A fish gracefully slips over the edge of the boat and turns back into her jellyfish form. She dejectedly swims away. You didn't have any fish to feed your wife and kids, so you Cast your lane once more. Boo. Alright. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I not mean to get caught on your hook. You must have been trying to catch a fish. Talk about the weather? 
Uh, so this weather we've been having, am I right? Huh? I can't really tell what the weather is from bo the bottom of the lake. Oh. My bad. The lake is so clouded, I can barely see th through the surface from the bottom. The sunlight is... The sunlight is kind of dimmed. Sometimes when it's windy though, I can feel the water uh, moving a little. I think everyone in the lake would be happier if the water was clearer. I'm pretty worried about the state of the lake for a boot. I'm worried. I mean, the nuclear state is pollution, right? Nuclear waste is pollution, right? But so am I. I'll just be not knowing how to help. Wish I could help. But I don't know how I can. It's okay. I appreciate having somebody to talk for once. It's the most value I, value that I have felt in a long time, actually. Being listened, uh, being listened felt a bit like a distant dream at the bottom of the lake. Or being listened to felt like a dream. But imagine having a full-blown conversation. It's been nice talking to you. I should apologize, Boy, but I should probably get out of the way, shouldn't I? You got your family to feed after all. Been nice talking. You're right, I do have a job to do for my family. Hope you catch some tasty fish. If you come to fish here, I'll make sure to stay clear of your hook. Just for staring. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stare. It's just. It's that I'm so big, isn't it? I'm so tall. What? No. I just didn't expect to find an orca in a lake. Let alone one that turns into a human. Well, I used to live in the ocean. Some humans caught me and moved me to this lake. I don't know if we had anybody to do that. Seems so pointless, expensive, and well, a touch cruel, really. From what I heard them saying, it's so cramped. If only I were smaller. Um. How many more fish did I do I have left? Um Um Environment is not meant for Workers are never meant to live in lakes. It's not your fault for being big. It's the fault of the idiots who put you here in the first place. I mean... Um... Natural sort of nonsense logic leads people to putting animals like you in the lake. They definitely messed up. Regardless of who who's the problem here though, it doesn't change the fact that I'm out of place in this lake. Those guys aren't coming back. They pick me up and put me back in the ocean. Or bigger lake. This is where I am. Where I am, I'm just too large. Must be hard. Yeah. Let me actually save right here. Finally making a save. Apologize on behalf of the humans who did this to her. Say that everyone in the lake is going to have to suffer. No, apologize. When I was a human, I'm sorry for what the humans did to you. Clearly wrong. And you've clearly had a bad time because of it. I appreciate it, but... I don't think the humans that did this really care. This is nice that at least one human cares, though. Why don't I take you to shore and we can get back to the ocean? You didn't have to keep, keep living in this lake. I... Well... I, I didn't have a great time in the ocean, too. My pod treated me like I just took up space. The ocean is huge, but... I was still too much of a space hog there, too. 
They're probably not wrong, to be honest. As much as I hate being in this lake, at least the fish don't say anything about me taking up space. It's the lesser of two evils. I see. Do you prefer the lake? Yeah. And it's a little pathetic to stay here, but... I don't know where else I would go. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. I'm glad that at least... I at least got to tell someone about my troubles. I'm glad I could end in here. Goodbye. Comes out of the boat, careful not to create much of a splash. She turns back into a nork and swims aside and keep fishing. Um... Here down to the water. What? Uh, say that everything in the lake is going to have to suck for it. Yeah. It's how any other fish in the lake too, I bet. You and everyone in the lake are just going to have to keep putting up with this. I show something that could be done. When I teach to show you can get back to the ocean, you don't have to keep living in this lake. I... Well... I didn't have a great time in the ocean too. My pod treated me like I just took up space. The ocean is huge, but I was... But it was... Too much of a space hug there too. Probably not wrong to be honest. Yeah. I know where else I would go. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. I at least got doesn't want about my trouble. I'm calling Nia. Goodbye. How do you get all the endings? Got a blobfish. We're back in the lake. Um, I can see you're not doing so good, so... Wait, I, I can see that you're not doing so good, but I don't think- I don't know how to help, so, uh, I'm just going to kind of, uh, gently push her out of the boat. She offers no resistance. She turns into a fish and sinks downwards. Time to catch another fish. Hopefully the next one will be ill. See how you get all the endings on.
But how do you get all onions? Um, this far for anything I'm just gonna try seeing and they have a wife and kids doing in the lake. Oh, that's for details, are we? You literally told me to ask you a question. I haven't always lived in this lake. I should find the road. Of things, but keep it to yourself. I have a lot to learn. I have a lot to learn about being human. I'm sorry for hitting on you, making you uncomfortable. I accept your apology. I should probably leave you now. Now hang on. Don't you want to be human and live on land? I mean, I did, but I'm clearly not ready for such a thing. You can just learn as you go. We all do. You've clearly got a good head on your shoulders. So, why not give being a, being human a proper go before uh, resigning yourself to the lake again? Oh, okay. So you don't need to get to the last one. I'm just I just fucked up everything. Um, octopuses use their tentacles to grab some fish out of the water to make a man see you. Uh, you thank her help uh, and bring her to land. You offer for her to meet your wife and kids, but she declines says that maybe one day in the future she will, but for now, she wants to learn about being human. Her ways and bring the fish home to your wife to cook, she makes an amazing curry with them. Years later, your eldest child is attending a reputable university, you go to meet with them on campus one day, and see that one of their classmates is Octopus. She doesn't see you. But she looks happy with her life, and is surrounded by a large group of friends. Best girl, I'm telling you. Okay... Okay. Oh, a human. 
Um. I'll be sure to visit in the future. You will? Ah, oh, thank you. Well, I should probably leave now and let you catch the fish. We all need to eat after all. Now oh, hang on. I have an idea. You're good at luring in fish, right? I'm the best there is. If you help me catch some fish, I'll invite you over to eat dinner with me and my family. You do that for me? I've cooked the best fish dishes. I figured you'd want to try them. I've always wanted to try a cooked fish. Consider it done. Anglerfish practically scrambles to get back into the lake. She turns back into her fish form and speeds up to lure in some fish. Anglerfish successfully helps you to fill your entire bucket with fish. It's enough to last your family an entire week, plus some extra. Better yet, none of them turn into anime girls. You bring her home and introduce her to your wife and children. It's a bit awkward at first, but quickly relaxes, relaxes, and gets along with them really well. Angler, anglerfish, uh, thoroughly enjoys her first taste of char-grilled fish, and you strike a deal with her to have her assist, to have her assist you with fishing every day. Uh, your wife, wife is very grateful that anglerfish is helping you. Getting your daily fishing done quicker, getting your daily fishing done quicker, so that you can spend more time with your family. Your kids start calling her Auntie Anglerfish. Humans who did this. Wait. Wait, what? Why did that not work? It's supposed to be full negative to work out? Ask a fish to taxes. Oh yeah. The other fish sure do. And you don't? Of course not. We love the green design. Look at these sharp teeth of mine. You don't pay taxes because you have teeth? No. I don't pay taxes because I'm scary and eat the fish that collect the taxes in the first place. Now that's something I can get behind. Oh yeah. You humans eat fish too, don't you? Decline her request. I'm sorry, but I haven't really enjoyed this conversation. God damn you, fucker. Oh, that's a shame. I guess you really will have to go and talk. I guess I really will have to go and talk to the boot. I appreciate you talking to me at least. It's been a good experience. Well, I'll probably leave now and let you catch some fish. We all need to eat after all. Goodbye. Good luck. She's being rude. Apologize. And... <sighs> You're right. I probably need to be kinder to others. I'm sorry about the way I treated you. It's just... I've been so irritable recently. This lake isn't really my home. I was forcibly moved here recently. It's cramped. The water is filthy. Nobody here knows who I am. 
It's just been so hard to handle. I don't think jellyfish are supposed to live in lakes. Sorry to hear that. It must have been difficult. Indeed. You know where you came from? The ocean. No idea what part of it though. I wish I could go back, even if it wasn't to the same spot. I mean... You catch a few fish with jellyfish still in the boat. She's fascinated to watch how fishing works. Once you've caught your dinner, you drive home with jellyfish in your car. You call your wife and children out of the house, now you're going to have dinner on the beach. You drive down to the shore and tell jellyfish that she can now go back into the ocean. She thanks you for your help and walks down to the, to the water. She walks off into the sunset, eventually becoming completely submerged in the water. You light a fire on the beach, and you and your family start cooking the fish that you caught. A fun time is had by all. Okay. Can you please get... Okay, Orca. How the fuck do I get Orca to... Do I know how tall she is? Um... Agree with her? Yeah, if only we were shorter, this lake would be more comfortable. Yeah. Those fish must feel cramped too with you in here. They probably do, to be honest. Regardless of who's the problem here, though, it can change the fact that I'm out of place in this lake. Okay, now, um... Um, they should make the lake bigger. They should have dug up uh, the lake to be bigger once they moved you here. So at least they could have done. No, making accommodations like that for me would be silly. I'm the big one here. I'm the problem. Regardless of who's the problem here, though, it doesn't change the fact that I'm out of place in this lake. Okay, so I apologize for staring. How the fuck? Does Orca know I have an ending? I think I got everyone else or something. Oh no, I, I, I didn't get boot.
Okay, so. Okay, okay, okay. I, I see, I see. Okay, um. Iron Man's not meant for her. And then. Her self worth, self worth is a separate matter. Or not. But I'm actually just gonna try Orca real quick because I don't know. I am stuck. Hold on, let me try this again, like. Oh wait, no. Apologize for staring. Okay, skip. Fireman is not meant for her. And then self-worth is a separate matter. But what if there were a third option? Like what? You turn into a human, so why not live on land? I can't say for certain if things will work out, but it might be worth a shot. But as a human, I'm so tall. As I said, the height is not an issue. At worst, you might just need to duck through some door frames. That's got to be less restrictive than being in this lake, right? Catch a few fish and take Orca to land. She seems nervous, wondering if people on land will like her or not. Take to, uh, you take her to meet your family. She joins you all for dinner and thoroughly enjoys the fish and chips your wife makes. During dinner time, this conversation. Uh, during dinner time conversation, she gets along particularly well with your children. Uh, and your wife, uh, you and your wife have both been getting quite busy recently and discuss hiring her to help you, uh, to help out with your children. You both decide to take her as a nanny. She fits into your family perfectly and she really enjoys her role. After a while, she doesn't fear taking up too much space because she realizes that this environment uh, suits her better than any other has in the past. She has always been perfect at, as she is. She just needed to find a place where she could see that. Okay. Yeah, I'm all, I only have boot left now. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to catch you. Fine. Apology accepted. I do have some constructive criticism, though. When apologizing to a royal in the future, one should do it with uh, more verbosity and regret in the for their actions. An apology gift is also customary. 
for future reference, I like pearls uh, and silver filigree jewelry. Particularly of French origin. I'll let us slide this time, of course. Since you had not been taught the proper adequate prior to had not been taught the proper adequate prize for a meeting. That being said, I feel like I'm not receiving the appropriate level of spark on you. I don't like jellyfish. I really I don't really like jellyfishes. Since you know they can't be fed to my family. You're literally useless to what I set out to do today. In fact, you've been quite a you've been quite a big hindrance. I never even asked for this conversation. Or to fish up a jellyfish. They have made this fishing trip worse than it needs to be. No, well, you made your point, I suppose. I think it's best that I leave. Yeah. Sorry, I have a wife who I am actually taken by, so if you just let me remove you from my boat real quick. Huh? What? Why are you- oh. Ah! We quickly throw her out of the boat, she turns uh, back into an octopus. And catch another fish, hopefully the next one won't turn into a person. It will. Is Boots seriously going to be last? You are back into the lake. Got a boot. see the dialogue real quick. Um, throw her back into the lake. Sorry, right, I don't have time for this. I want to leave my family waiting too long for dinner. Oh, it's okay, I understand. I'll uh, get out of your way now. I'm terribly sorry for everything. Who awkwardly throws herself outside the boat, turns to a boo once she's submerged, and even have to put her back in the lake myself. At least this way I won't be fined for littering. Cast my line once more. Okay. Um. So only the heart. That was wrong. Uh, no. Um... Uh, make small talk about your favorite type of shoes. Is that what it is? Um... It's unlikely that should be valid ever. No? Alright. Oh no, I think the first one needs to be a negative. So the first one needs to be negative and then the next two. Um, I apologize for catching her. Okay, things happen. I'm for catching you. And then... One, two... Now hang on. 
jump back in, won't you just keep littering the lake? Oh well, yeah. But what other choice do I have? So far you've only told me that uh, what two scenarios look like for you. You could keep on going uh, as an item of litter in this lake, or you could be of value to someone on land. That second one is never going to happen. But what about valuing yourself? How could I value your person now? You don't need to go back in the lake, and you aren't an object uh, to be wanted by others. If I take you to shore, you could do whatever you wanted. You don't have to be a discarded boot or pollutant. You could be anything. You're right. Maybe I need to see value in myself. Once you do that, others will sh be sure to follow. Wow. I guess it would be too much to ask for you to take me to shore. I want to go somewhere where I can feel happier about myself. Consider it done. Euro boot to shore. She seems a bit nervous about her future, but you're certain she'll discover something about herself. That she lets her feel better about herself. Uh, you part ways. She begins a walking towards the road, and you head back out onto the lake to catch your family's dinner. You you don't hear from or about her for years. But one day you reach you read the morning paper to see a familiar face. And the next week you see her face in the paper again, and the week after that too. Say that Boot has been busy as an understatement. She solved the murder of her of her late owner Johnny. She's shut down the factory up the road. She's uncovered a scheme involving the illegal displacement of various marine species to nearby lakes. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. One of your kids comes to you with a crayon drawing one of your kids comes to you with a crayon drawing of, of boots, saying that they'd like to be like her one day. You couldn't be prouder. And that's it, that's the last one. Yeah, I've done all of them. Alright, cool.